Okay, on my uh, podcast earlier, I had talked about, I given a political perspective about what happened to me. But now I want to talk to you about really what is a personal right towards those with disability, particularly the blind. I have never had such a harrowing experience with TSA than I get at Salt Lake International Airport. I'm getting ready to uh, fly home. Check the check one piece of baggage of of, of luggage with uh, American Airlines. Wait for a chair. After a while, they got me somebody that can take me through security. And there seemed to be some confusion about what the heck was going on. And finally, they got me in the right line, and then uh, they asked for any form of identification, driver's license, passport. And I said, uh, stay ID. And the TSA guy said, oh, okay, stay ID. And then that's, and I told them, I said, look, I have, I have some orthopedic metal in my body, in my body. I need to go through the body scan, which they had no problem. But then they turned the official turned to the sky cap, who, in my interpretation, could speak like very broken English. And they asked him, can he walk? No response. Okay, I was in, I was, I go through airports in a wheelchair because it makes it easier to go from, from gate to gate. I don't do very well walking, running long distance. And asking him, can he walk? Well, finally one of the officials had the smarts to say, look, there he is with his cane. I'll walk over to him and ask him. And he said, sir, can, can you walk? I said, yeah. I said, I'll just use the chair to get to my gate. I'm, I, I, the only thing that's wrong with me is I'm blind. So I got up and I went through the, the body scan. Everything was fine. They got me back in my wheelchair. And then this is where the mayhem and where I was treated like crap. Skycap disappeared. And I saw this uh, conveyor belt. And I thought to myself, where the heck is my bag? And where the heck is my, my belongings? Because giving them my bag, I gave them my Texas Tech lanyard, and my bag had my computer, my medicine. They came out with my wallet and my computer, and I kept telling the sky kept my computer is is in it should be in my bag, should be in my bag, and I felt ignored, and so I lost it. I suffer from anxiety and, and bipolar disorder. And so I start I start screaming, where the hell is my bag? I want my bag. Bring me my bag. And one of the TSA officials say, hey, we know you need your bag. I said, okay, then, then let me know where my bag is. So I kept saying, your bag is at the tech is, is is attached to that chair. I said, well, okay, my bag should have my medicine in it and everything. Put the laptop in, 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 in my bag, please. Okay, I got, got the wallet, got the laptop, no Texas Tech lanyard. I discovered that when I got to Dallas. And when I got back home, no Monday through Friday pillboxes. No, no. No Sunday through Saturday pillboxes. 
Now, I've got, I've got medicine at home, but that's beside the point. The point is, people who are blind or have disabilities are not pet potted plants. We have legitimate feelings. Now, I enjoyed my vacation. I really did. I, I loved it there. Visiting Salt Lake with, with friends and everything. But the way I was treated. All I, all I ask of TSA is that, is that I am informed to reach step of the process. I don't travel all that much. But this is my first negative exposure to TSA. Most, most uh, airports, and really, except for this year and last year, I rarely travel outside of Texas. Most airports in Texas, they explain to me what the heck is going on. But one thing I think is, indict is an indictment on our federal government, on TSA, and on our society in general is we've got to stop seeing disabled people as, as, as potted plants. I'm sorry. That's one of the things I'm going to be very adamant about. We do have rights. We do have legitimate feelings. So needless to say, tomorrow I'm going to call Congressman, and make TSA start reviewing some of their policies towards people who are disabled. Because I think in certain areas, they're not very blind friendly. And I'm going to call them out on it. It's not very often I go after a company or government agency. But when I see rights being trampled on, Hell yeah, I'm going to talk about it. So that's my take. Folks, this is what's wrong. And we need to take, we need to fix it. TSA? Not very good blind friendly rating.